Okay, I want the double justice. Okay, three, two, one. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do a test out here. Let's do it. Oh! Welcome home, Rep Pack. It's your boy King Reptar here, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys are, you know the drill. Oh, it's actually been a couple months. Yeah, it's been a bit. I don't think one flip is gonna suffice for this one. I think you guys are gonna kind of make up for it, to be honest with you. All right, so yeah, just several months worth of camera flips. <laughs> Are you done? Yes! Yes, I'm done! That was exhausting! You just stood there! And then even halfway through, you, you just laid down! I've been doing that for months. Parker actually hurt his knee, his bum knee. My, my bum knee. Yeah, we were talking about your bum knee. That was last, months ago. Yeah, last time he was on the side of the road asking for money. This time I saw him knocking on the door of a shelter. His I'm knee. moving up. He's trying his best. <laughs> his economy. But, welcome back Rep Pack. Today is going to be a very, very special video because we're going to be doing one of your guys' favorite series. I had to come back with the freaking legendary series. You draw it, motherfucking Parker buys it. Still in my pocket. That's, that's all that. No money in here. I didn't think there was. You're gonna have to find it. <laughs> but guys, we're gonna be doing you draw it, I buy it. But check this <laughs> out, man. I got this awesome one with crowns, pencils, markers, whatever that is, and finger paint. We can do this however you wanna do it. But you're still only allowed to use black. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're gonna get into this right now, guys. If you guys are new to this channel, I don't know how you found it this time. <laughs> But make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe if you guys haven't already, because this is the first episode of many, because not just this video, next week I'm gonna be doing fan mail. So look forward to that, and it's gonna continue from there. I'm gonna try to be aiming for one to two videos a week if I can, along with my other channels, if you guys haven't checked them out. I've kind of been busy with doing this. That took some time. I've been trying to get the setups for all my channels so where I can regularly upload on all of them. And that's the same thing for this one. Now that we kind of got things kind of squared away, we're on track to start uploading more consistently on this channel as well. So before we get too deep into the video, I got a shout out to our sponsor who made this video possible along with all the other videos that are going out right now. This video is brought to you by Manscaped, the global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. Manscaped offers the best tools and liquid formulations for the big three odor zone. Your butt, your body, and and of course, your balls. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my fourth. They didn't tell me to add this one in, but the boys. I love rubbing Manscaped on my friends. It's, he does, it's, it's annoying. Yeah, but you know, all my friends smell great. They hooked us up with the Performance Package 4.0 kit. Let me show you what it has real quick. First, the Lawnmower 4.0. This thing has an LED light. It's got ceramic blades. It's great for pretty much any area on the body. And not just that, it holds a charge for up to 90 minutes. And if you triple tap it three times, you can even put it on a safety lock for when you travel. So that way you're, I don't know, it might be kind of cool for all your luggage come out really fresh <laughs> but you might not want it to be shredded up and obviously it's cordless. Next is the Crop Reviver, which is great for uncomfortable, small, tight areas. You can spray this on for a nice, cool layer of aloe vera gel to help clear up any irritation. Next, the Weed Whacker, which is for those really, really small orifices in your body. And it has the same skin safe technology as the lawnmower. And if you use my code ADHD20, you'll get 20% off and also to get two free gifts to go with it. One being the awesome traveling bag and two being some amazingly comfortable anti-chafe boxers. I'm wearing them right now, but I'm saving all this anti-chafing is a secret. Shout out to Manscaped, please show them some support guys because with the content on ADHD's world, every time we can get a sponsor, it definitely helps out a lot. So if you guys could show them some support, I'd greatly appreciate it. But anyway, let's get on with the video. But this thing is closed. I didn't think I was gonna have to use it today, but I brought it anyway. I don't know what happened to it, but I guess we'll call it. You guys know my friend. He, he has, he's been very busy actually, but I haven't had to call him as, as eventually. I'm gonna do the most deep voice I can, ready? Okay. Unboxing knife! That wasn't good, huh? I don't know who responded to that. Unboxing knife! <laughs> you like that better? Oh. It's not coming! All right, let's just do it this old school way. Unboxing knife! <sighs> this ought to get him. <sighs> okay, I know that you've been working here for two months and I've been I've been paying you and it's been kind of a ripoff But now is your time to shine my stunt double you are taking the rain. I am out of this business I haven't been able to die my true ultimate desire to kill myself still hasn't come to fruition So why waste my time? I might as well enjoy the view. Oh my god. I've seen every episode of Spongebob twice Okay, well maybe a change of scenery would be nice But either way you stay here while I go on my vacation and you wait for that night to move and when you does you jump on it? You you know you got 
the brief that you watched. The, you watched the employee tape. I'm packing my bag, but I can hear the knife. I think this is your time. All right. <laughs> Actors are just insane. I know you're fooling me. I'm sh I think he might actually be dead. Of course, the one missed sick day. Oh. Help! Help! Someone help! Oh, call 911! Call 911! I need help! My, my stunt double can't perform tomorrow! That, I swear! That's I why! That's why I, don't I mean, you that's just gotta why. die. And I, I can't really handle a plus. God, I should just start carrying this thing around in my pocket. It's just such a process to get anything open. Now, this is what I call the art center. I don't know what all those underprivileged schools are talking about. Oh, art's expensive. 20 bucks right here for all art center. Dude, follow a kid for 12 years. Yeah, oh my God. How do you get this and not turn to Van Gogh? That is where art is at. I got an eraser. I got pencils. Um, yeah. There's no black marker. I just realized that. And they're missing two. Oh, here they are up here. Of course, they had to segregate the brown and the black one. Do you think that's a coincidence? I am not giving my opinion on the matter, but I will donate money to whatever you say is good. Money's as good as an opinion. All right, but let's go ahead and get started. We got to open up the sketchbook. Here's all the old drawings right here. The BB Bistol. All right, we're on some fresh pages here. Go ahead and take a seat, because right now, you're about to read books. See my picture in a week. I might put some words on there so you can read. Okay. All right, come sit down. Let's do this. So what you making today? Can you give me a second? You need to open the marker up. Okay. Well, I just, okay. So I want a sword that can cut through bone. And even if that person has some kind of like prosthetic arm, you know, oh, I got metal in my arm. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna be showing that off. <laughs> well, if they are, they better, they're gonna regret it. All right, so I want that blade to be thick, but I'm gonna have to draw this thing in dimensions. Looking like a French fry. Yeah, it does look like a French fry right now. But on the front of that French fry, it's gonna be this right here. Oh, tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're gonna tattoo, it's not a tattoo. Okay, this right here is a line because that's the blade. That's how thick I want this thing to be. I don't even think I understand. This is the side. This is the front of the blade. This is the side, this is the top showing those 3D dimensions. Uh, 3D dimensions. Th that's dementia. What? You do know that 3D means three-dimensional, so you don't even have to write that, and then you wrote it wrong. What are you doing in my house today? <laughs> thing is, that's not where I'm done. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I want this thing to be surrounded and held by a dragon slash wolf. I want it to look like what? ghosts from freaking Le Game of Thrones mixed with the dragon from Shrek that fucks donkeys, and that's kind of weird, but hey, those babies are cute. Wait, 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 wait hold up. We're, we're gonna get to everything you just said, but you said dragon slash, you want like a, you want a wagon? Dragon slash wolf? No, I mean, that's what losers call it. It's called a droof. <laughs> a droof? So yeah, a droof wolf. So these eyes indicate wolfness. These nostrils indicate dragonness. I want them to be horny. We're gonna extend this all the way down. I want the back end to be more wolf tail. So I want this you're to drawing look. You're a dragon. It's a wolf dragon, a droof. So right here is the dragon. Here's the wolf with a little bit of dra with a little bit of wolf in here. You got fur. No, he's just crying because this sucks. <laughs> no, that's you reading and weeping. Okay. <laughs> so that is my design right there. What and do then you call this thing. 
Hmm. That's a good question. Expect a good answer. <laughs> I call this Slayer of Drew. Because it's made to slay wolves and dragons. If you try to hit anything else with this blade, it'll turn to water. I feel like I like the ability better than hitting wolves and dragons. Oh no, because if you hit it with the wolf or dragon, that thing's 100% dead. So, and I want some scales on it because this is the wolf fur, but now we've got scales because it's a dragon. Don't forget that. So, they got that. And then I want to have a nice sheath for it to go in, of course. You got to make that sheath three dimensional too. Did say sheath? What are you, Will Smith? <laughs> no, because what is the wolf going to eat? Sheep. Right, that's a little creative. So, it's a sheep and and sheath mixed sheep. <laughs> and I want a little fur on it, some, some cotton like a sheep. So he's gonna eat the thing that contains it? It's sheep. Don't you see the walking paradox? <laughs> yes, I do, and I understand it, and we're gonna live in it. The point is, is that is my design right there. And let me just draw something else for you to do. Real no, quick. I think we're good. I think we get the picture. Read it and weef. If you can. We <laughs> <laughs> read it and if you can, oh no, it's supposed to be on top of here. If you can read it and Wait, weep. So if you can read it, then weep or and weep? If you can read it and weep. This needs to be better grammatically. And we're gonna go and use that crazy art crown right there because I want this whole thing to be a nice silver color because- okay, well that makes sense with, with wool. Yeah, it does. Hear that? You make sense. Well, no, 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 just the color. <laughs> <laughs> and I want the blade to be black okay. as smoke. It's the same damn color. No, you are so, I can't believe the racism they I hear from your mouth. They all the same. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's what I want. Parker's got five days to find my beautiful design, the Drool Slayer. And if you can find it, then you guys gotta get some credit in the comments down below and put your vote down below. Who did the best job finding the items? Usually Parker does do a pretty good job finding the items. I know, because I have connects to this stupid shit. And you got the money for your buying of the drawing. We've talked about that. I don't have the money. <laughs> Whether you have the money or not, this would be a debilitating moment for you regardless. <laughs> I want it in five days. All right, so it's five days later. I got my drawing right here. The question is, Parker, did you find the three D dimen dimensional? What was it called together? Mm -hmm. The drool I don't even know what you wrote. <laughs> it was five days ago. I don't remember what I did this morning. <laughs> Honestly, that's fair. Okay. Did you read it and weep? No, I did not read it and weep. I read it and I and I laugh maniacally because I found your stupid item. That is in rhyme with weep. <laughs> <laughs> so you found the item. We don't have my mom's luxurious um, like wolf skin blanket. Yeah. <laughs> that would be nice. That's very nice. I yeah. can't afford that. So I this this right here is my jacket. Yes, that I had to stretchingly uh, use to cover it up. It's under there. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, yeah, it doesn't really look like there's anything under there. But he said he found it, so let's see how accurate it is to the drawing. Let's see it one more time. Let's check it out. By the way, it's nice. So you don't. Don't be thinking that I only spent a couple shekels on it. No, no, no. A couple shekels? I don't even know how much a shekel goes for, so like, <laughs> uh, you could have fooled me with one shekel. But here we go. Let's do it. Grand reveal. What are you doing? I feel like I've taken the jacket off like a dead man or something. Yeah. Like, just like, ripping him <laughs> off his chest. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Hey, man. Okay, yeah. let me turn it that way for the camera. Damn, that is actually insanely awesome. Like, I know. It, it doesn't really get much. Now, that is actual. I don't know if that's a drool, but it damn sure it looks like it. Honestly, okay, I think I feel like it kind of came out like a wolf, a dragon, and a lion mixed. A dragon wolf. A droggle. But on the side, we got actual some texture. Dude, this is nice grip, too. I didn't expect it to be like, to be honest, I didn't expect you to find something this high quality. Honestly, I didn't either. But here's <laughs> the thing. So, like, it only came high quality. I asked, hey, is there a cheaper thing of this? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's check out the blade, because that's still a real quality will lie. I and mean, this is really, really nice, though. I just expected it to be like some cheap fantasy blade. But let's check it out. Whoa, okay, okay, yeah. okay. We got a process and not just that. This thing is thicker than your grandma. This thing is beautiful. Yeah, go ahead. See the side profile. That thing is 100% Dude. Thicker. Yeah, you can use this as like a sub. You don't even have to use a blade. Just smack him with the front of that. Seriously. It'll crack someone's head open. Or dude, in the back of this? Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, I feel the gripper on that. Oh, I was feeling that for a moment yes, at the time. Were. In between scenes. <laughs> this is nice. My only question about it though, uh, I mean, it feels like really solid. I was just worried about that much weight on top without it being full tang. Because right. like, this is all resting in this wolf's head. That is uh, dangerous as hell. It's a big piece of metal. So you're asking me if it's full tang? Yeah. I, d I don't know. I found the, the damn drill, okay? <laughs> just be happy with that. Don't be asking me about no tang. So we're gonna go outside and we're gonna test this out. If it's not full tang, 
and we'll probably find out pretty quickly because this much weight hitting a surface, even if it cuts straight through, the impact that's going back this way is gonna be a lot if this thing's not full tank. But let's go check it out. I like the sound on it though. Yeah. It's like the drool, it just keeps his mouth open for echo. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so first thing I want to test out before we do anything serious is this thing is super bulky So let's see if it's actually got any kind of sharpness to it. This thing is super heavy So I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but we're gonna try for it and see if this thing is sliced through one of these guys right here One of these? Yeah, and if we can make that happen, then it shows it's a little bit sharp. Maybe we can try out something bigger. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh! Okay, so we got it, but that didn't slice through. No, I mean, no. I mean, yeah, like you said, it's heavy. It was a little slow. First try. Points for that. <laughs> but what I'm saying is like, I think you need a little more power on that. You think so? Yeah, I mean, we got this little nick right here. We'll try it one more time, give it a benefit of the doubt. But I mean, it's just there's so much weight. It feels like I don't need to put a lot of power. Three, two, one. Okay, Ooh. okay, a little bit more. That was as good as I think it's gonna get on that. I just don't think, I think it's so thick. It's almost like armor cutting, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's made to go through really thick stuff, not for like the pinnacle sharpness of like a tomato, you know, where it's that drop test. True, true. But you can see, oh, damn, even got a little extra wound, one of these things. I know how bad these hurt on my foot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that tomato's crying right now. Yeah, let's take that out. We got a little slices right there, but it doesn't have quite the sharpness of something else. Okay, let's try this one more time. Three. Two, one. Okay, now that's the difference between the Han shoe and this guy right here. And then the Han shoe sits out here. This is literally like my work knife, almost as you could say. This just sits out here just for cutting basic things. And it's still sharp enough to cut that thing. So, I mean, this guy definitely maybe for some bulky hits. Okay, so now we're going to be testing this thing out for real, see what kind of damage the thing it does, and also how smooth of a cut through we can get on it. If you guys are interested in any of them, I'll put leaks down below. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh. Hey man. Here's the thing. I didn't look that good at first, but it was slowly sliding up. Like you cut through that thing. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie, dude. This thing's so like I can't express to you how heavy it is on top compared to the how light the handle is. This just feels like there's not enough of this down here. So it's just like I'm just losing control. It's got everything about a katana, but the weight is like a broadsword. <laughs> Just to show you how heavy this is, we're gonna try and crush this. This was not easy. I mean, obviously my hand doesn't really show that, but <laughs> you can stand on these things and they don't pop. So we're gonna try it out and see what happens, but not with the blade, the back of the sword. Oh, okay. And I, again, as a sword user, you would never, ever, ever, ever do this. It's one of the most dangerous things you could do because swords are designed to be hit this way. So there's a lot of structure to protect them this way, not so much the other way, and you have a blade coming towards you, hence the mask. What the heck? I didn't even hit it that hard, dude. Look at that, it folded it over. That's insane. And I'm not gonna lie, since we picked this up, I've been wanting to try this flavor. Yeah, I don't want to try. Is it good? Incredible. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, smell that. Dude, smell that juice. That smells good as crap. <laughs> that smells bomb. That smells, it smells like a, like just blue candy. Like, yeah. Just for all of you guys out there, that smells like blue candy. <laughs> this isn't a Mountain Dew review, but it can be. Damn yeah. good. <laughs> Frostbite. Okay, we're going to use one more test on this thing, and I'll give it my review, and then we're going to go ahead and get to Parker's item and see if I can find what he drew, which I know that I did. It's actually amazing. We'll get You're going to love it. We'll get there. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is this dude? This thing just creates such a huge opening that it just can't help but just. <laughs> I'm I'm sweating Sprite right now. Me too, man. Droll. Yeah, droll powers. Okay, I'm gonna go wipe my face off because that was a lot of zero sugar Sprite. Yeah. <laughs> but this thing, as dirty as it is, man, it is dirty as a weapon too. This thing is insane. I would not want to be striked with this thing at any point. I honestly would feel like you'd have a better stand. Like even those katanas are a lot sharper. I feel like I'm just, it's just intimidating dude, compared to this kind of weight. Like this kind of, it's like you get hit by this. It's breaking, it's severing, it's doing it all. It's pretty insane. I gotta give this thing a high review for sure. 
sure. But let's see how I can top that with my item. Okay, it's your turn now. Oh, also, I didn't talk about this earlier, but I just realized that when you were sitting on it, I got a couch, I got a chair or, or a table. That's a table, right? And then, <laughs> and then I got this chair. It's good for chilling. Yeah, show them the recline. The recline? Well, actually, the particular seat you're in, no. <laughs> Yeah. yeah reclines. It does it hard too, huh? Yeah. But this is the other chair. This also reclines as well. But I just mostly wanted to see Parker deal with that ridiculously strong recline. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are we drawing here? I'm thinking, cause you know me, I'm pretty good at like everything, except maybe- Lying. What? Yeah, except for lying. <laughs> So I'm thinking like, we all know not my strongest suit it would be, you know, throwing stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, okay, absolutely. That's a guarantee, it's one of the guarantees in life. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With that, I like guarantees of life and I like guarantees that like, I'm gonna hit no matter what I do. Yeah. So here we are again, me drawing something 100% guaranteed. <laughs> okay. So, but I, I'm off the hook either. I'm not just getting no basic ninja star all go to the swap meet and get this piece of shit. No. So oh, the ninja so, star. Well, okay, yes, but I'm getting to that. Okay. It's not like a normal ninja star. <laughs> okay. I want some high craftsmanship built from the <laughs> original ninja himself. The original ninja? Toby Rama? I don't know. <laughs> Who's the first one? Yeah, I don't know. You gotta go find him. It may look something like this. I want, you know, obviously here's your typical ninja. Stuff. All right, okay, so you got a little uh, a little origami. This is a normal one. So that's a rinky dinker. Yeah. See that Webster? It's catching on. No, no, that's just a, that's a thing. Not, I didn't quote that. It's quoted. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is what I want. I want some ancient geometrical shit. What the heck is that? Yeah, I want that shit to look like Arceus's ribs. Like, that looks like Raven's forehead. I want, what is that? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> too. <laughs> so is the circles to make it easier to grab on? Maybe. It's a dumbed down version. Of it. Is that a sea turtle? It's not a sea turtle. Ninja turtle. It's, and then, you know what? I want some graphics on here. I want some. Oh, that's your ninja. Ninja graphics. Okay. Yeah. So like with that, it's just so easier to put my big ginormous. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> finger. Okay, if that's your finger. That's my finger. This is disgusting. <laughs> It also, that must be like a, a micro atom or something size. A micro? No, 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 no. That, that's, that's very big. Once it's written, it's fact. Very big. Okay. Well, now it explain this right here. That what? very little. You said whatever it is written is fact. So the, what was that? What does very little mean? Like, I don't know. That was printed on there when we bought it. Manufactured like that. Then I'm not. Don't give him some. Get some copy and paste. No, I want different. I want variety. Okay. So you want one to be period red. That's what the very, name says on it. That's not. And the second color is gonna be a nice. Thing. Thick black. And then, because I wanted to see this color. All right, all right. Nice gunmetal silver. I think everything besides meeting the first ninja might be possible. All right, what's the name of this thing? Glad you asked. Team seven. That's totally original. It's new, it's refreshing. Okay. And we get 7% of their income. All right, so team seven's his name. Well, I've got five days to find that. We'll bring it back here and we're gonna test out all of this stuff. And then you guys are gonna comment down below who you think won. Why does all of your like drawings always have so much writing? Because I just need you to get me. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like one of the journals from Gravity Falls. Just too much detail. All right, let's go ahead and check it out though. Underneath that beautiful pre-owned jacket, there is a golden prize for you. The ninja stars that you asked for, the drip star, yeah. the drip stars. I didn't notice you go on any flights. So uh, did you meet the original ninja? Parker, yeah. the original ninja's right here in this house. Did in spirit, in spirit. Okay. Okay, yeah. he's dead. He's dead. The first ninja's dead. I looked for him. It turned out he died thousands of years ago. Did you Go figure. The relative? His whole bloodline died. Oh. No, but I did find it from a um, a really old Asian dude. No, <laughs> you could have known the first ninja. You don't know. All right. Let's see it. Three, two, <laughs> one. Why? <laughs> Why he was just be in the middle like everything else? Because a ninja always moves in silence and unexpectedly. Yeah, check him out inside that little it's, ridge wallet. Yeah. <laughs> this little, okay, I got a little red striker here. Yeah, a little red good point for Marcus in the commenter do you, here. Do you see what the blue? What the, oh. How do you have a moisture drop on your shirt? You didn't drink nothing, Parker. I'm always moist. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was gonna say the reason why is because you're holding the drip. Now you understand. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. 
It oh, looks almost like the JetX logo. I like it because you know you can put you got your nice resting place for your fingers. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm not good at these, so that's that's fine. I think you kind of got what I asked for because it kind of does look like RC's ribs. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's got a nice drip factor too. Like they look cool. I got you the Neapolitan of Ninja oh, Stars. Oh, a little gunmetal stainless. <laughs> yeah, that's what I typed in. Gunmetal yeah. stainless. <laughs> that right there is beautiful. You gotta look for the third one. It's ninja shit. <laughs> Yeah. And the third one came in plastic. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's because they wanted to protect the black. Ninja Star has been going through things for years. That's probably my favorite one right there. That just no, looks... No bias. No, that just looks clean. Come on, man. Yeah, that is pretty drippy. <laughs> that's... Oh, my steering wheel look like that. I think I'd be proud to call this Team 7. Yeah, yeah. A little soccer, a little Sasuke, and a little... I guess the silver could be Naruto. In some way. We're going to go outside. We're going to try them out. Today, I'm going to teach you and I'm gonna we're gonna get you to land an epic distance throw Okay, so we got Parker's Ninja Stars right here. I mean, obviously they aren't the most flashy looking things in the world. I think they are pretty drippy, but they don't look that big, but they're gonna do a lot of damage. Your targets are right there. You got all three of those, okay? But we're what gonna about move the Mountain Dew. The Mountain Dew, but just don't worry about that. You're gonna be right about here, okay? Smart. By the end of this journey, by the end of this journey, you're gonna be able to do this. You'll be able to knock it off. <laughs> so when you're throwing it, all you want to do is imagine that your target is a quarter on a on a vending machine or an arcade. Okay. And you're trying to throw that quarter into the slot. You want me to imagine a target I have to hit, and then for me to hit the target? For me, it's an arcade machine slash coin slot, but I'm kind of weird, so yeah. Oh, looks like Pac-Man just became open. Oh. Are we still on the quarter thing? <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. So we're aiming for the center one right now, right? Do you do like a finger on top and then like backward, or you kind of go down here and go see? Forward. So this not another one of these. This is some real ninja <laughs> shit. This is a novice. That's Good what you want me to do? You want to do novice? <laughs> <laughs> you want to do novice? <laughs> Yeah, that see, that would have been some I real didn't get ninja. Any practice shots? Yeah, that was your practice but shot. But also, this, these are sticky and they stuck to my hand. <laughs> That's my problem. That's you know, it's not easy. You went around it. Beautiful loop around it. What They're the? Sticky. Fuck? They're sticky, bro. You hit the base of the target. This is honestly like if I was Squidward, I'd be doing the thing. <laughs> All right, so now that we found yeah, them, got a little warm up. Yeah, we found the fault in our stars. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. I will admit, what? Well, it's not admitting. It's just it's, I'm trying to. It's an excuse. <laughs> These are wet. They are very sticky. <laughs> Oh, now you're oh, getting it. An expert. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got three stars. And oh, you tried to bust some nut and you did. <laughs> yes, so now we're going to upgrade you. You're over here. We got a long way to go. All right, so now we're at a greater distance. We're almost one step away from that. All you have to do is put a little bit more force on it. And again, now we have more force. That's going to be keep it straighter. You realize this is not like a real tutorial, right? You realize that you don't know how to take help. Well, that is also true. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I'm perfect. <laughs> Perfect. All right, now due to my diligent training, now you can move on to the greater distance. All right, so that one is down. Now we're going to the greater distance. Let's see what he's got. All right, I've trained you well. I've taught you a small smidgen of what I know. About a throw of things. <laughs> if you can hit this, you might get. Wait up, I'm still funny. talking. I thought it'd be funny if I hit it. <laughs> Thanks to my tutelage. If you could get this now, I might just rub a little bit more of the greatness on your chest. If you can do this, I'll give you 30 more minutes of tutelage for free. <laughs> I might not charge you. <laughs> I might not charge you the $140 an hour I make. You see, you're getting close. Just like I taught you. He freaking did it. You guys saw it right there. After just only 20 minutes of my grandista training, you were able to do that. Go to www.marcustrains.crypto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you give me all your Ethereum and I'll tra train you. Okay, so my next design. Do you I stand up just to come back like as if it's like some sort of talk show? Yes, you knew that. I did. And now we're here. <laughs> all right, for my this next design. Ridiculous. <laughs> for my next design. My plan is, what I've been thinking about for a long time is like, 
if you know the police, they carry around those batons, security guards, a lot of times do too. They're really good for self-defense. You just smack somebody up with that thing without having to do anything lethal like a you know? Sure. But when you're beating down, laying down the law. <laughs> On that innocent people. Suppressing those minorities, <laughs> me being one of them, you get tired. And not just that, who's watching your back till backup gets there? How are you gonna swing at someone else who's coming into the heat when you're already mid motion with this one? <laughs> If you had a baton to where both sides, somebody comes to the left, oh my god, that's my best friend, leave him alone. Ha! You hit him <laughs> with happening? the other side. What is happening? And then you, poof! I want a full double sided baton that's like a bow staff. But both sides, centerpiece bow, sides, baton. Do you, so just a, a baton, the back end where you hand, where you grab it, and then the other one, same thing, but then just the ends touching. If I get two batons, you're right. <laughs> on one stick. <laughs> but let me draw it so you can understand what I'm saying now. See that? That's a baton. What the frank is that? My friend Milo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's fine to this keychain face thing. We have one baton right here, and let me just draw you an additional baton. She's on the second one. Mm. This one's a half an inch taller. It's not even half an inch. Well, it is on the perspective. This is a smaller drawing. And the lines go like this. So there we have two batons. You see how those work now? Yeah. So yeah, what you want to do, how two batons work. I want this piece right here to have a screw point. A screw point. That goes in Milo's mouth. See how his face changed from happy to scared? Yeah. <laughs> because now Milo knows he's getting it. In the mouth. By the so, law. <laughs> by the law. So then you screw that in. And now look at what we've got here. I'm gonna do a different page. <laughs> right there, those are the connector points of those two things you see here, right? Uh -huh. And then, boom. Baton end. Okay, baton end over here too. And then it just keeps going. And that's baton. But this is the centerpiece right here. So I'm talking, I want a Darth Maul level baton. Like I said, lay down the law, lay down the law, lay down the law, protect yourself. It's <laughs> not really protect yourself. I mean, it is. I mean, also, I'm not a police officer, and that's probably why I won. Okay, we got five days of Parker to find that item. If you can do it, then, then you know, maybe you can win the competition. Just maybe. And until then, I'm keeping this right here. That's yours. Good. <laughs> because I probably need it. <laughs> I want this thing to be called the double conviction. The double conviction? Yeah. What are you doing with your head? They can see it. Urban Outfitter never knew I was gonna get this much value out of this jacket. I wear it, I unreveal things. That's from Urban Outfitters? I think I got this at Goodwill. That is wildly different. Well, someone else got it at Urban Outfitters. <laughs> okay, I wanted double justice. Okay. Is that what you called it? No, I called it, I wanted the Batman and Robin, the double hands of justice, okay? That's right. the point. The right. double conviction, that's what I called it. I always thought of that, I didn't always remember it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do the reveal though. My Naruto jacket is ready for this. <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one. What the? What is that? What do you mean with them? That's exactly what you asked for. This thing looks like a bachelor for grilling. How about you? You see this book cover? How about you stop judging it by that? <laughs> the weight on it's nice. I gotta say that. I got a nice little piece right here. Yeah, a little... How about you just open it, you know? Looks like a slot machine handle. Let's check it out. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, take off that little Slim Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that thing's stupid. Hey, I have an extra for that. A Slim Jimmy? Is that way you wouldn't just have a thing? <laughs> yeah, it's in a thing. I would have preferred having it just a thing. Well, I would have had more money. <laughs> well, here you go. You twist this off it looks like so how does it work is it just like yeah you screw it off just like that all right all right all right i see you oh, okay yeah, so we had to take this little thing off but the thing yeah i was just gonna say yeah, it just leaves the screw bit open oh okay yeah i forgot to put that with it but so it's kind of like an, an, an so okay so you would screw that on one just one. Oh yeah, yeah but if i okay thanks this thing's one individual one like that i'm just holding it on right now but the, i like the police chrome this seems government <laughs> license yeah <You> know? <laughs> if you wanted to you could to pull this one out and you could have two individual with the batons i guess which is what i asked for so pretty damn good go ahead and screw them together oh you know what this one's called the legislator wow <laughs> that's insane this doesn't bring down justice, it makes justice. Yeah, and that one enforces it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's check out this one then. Let me just get the whole setup. All right, so then you have that one down, you twist this one back. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of a lot of setup. Hey, I, I mean like, you wanna get used to it before you go out and fight crime. <laughs> <laughs> and then you twist this one on, and here it is! We have, what is the other one called? Afternoon. They're both the legislators. <laughs> <laughs> this is the House of Representatives. <laughs> yeah, this right here is freaking sick, dude. I love it. That is freaking sick. Double justice, you can slam it down like that, smack someone up, hit someone in the back, smack them back down, 
and boom, all of the hood's taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> and then you yeah. just hypothetically close it all back down, and then, you know, put your little caps back on there, and this in itself could be one. With growing pains. <laughs> <laughs> I love the legislator. Let's go outside and try this thing out. It's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. It's like a ninja police force. Now for the double perpetrator. This thing is ready. I, I really like it. I'm not going to lie. This thing is sick. I think this might be actually... I like this more than the sword. Really? Yeah, because it's just so like unique. And I feel like there's just no angle that I can't get something. You know, even behind you, you could really like get if you wanted to. But let's go ahead and try it out. All right, let's do a test out here. Let's do it. Looking pretty good. It's working pretty damn well. Yeah. That is as good as it's gonna get. I mean, I see a lot of damage. It's a lot, but when you hit, there's not, like what's supposed to be with this, like if you hit this, this is not bending. But because there's so much length on it, True. it bends. So you're not getting your full downward power because it starts to flex up, so. You know, probably it's because the weakest is the screw point. Yeah, so like I'm putting a lot of force, like when you saw that downward smack this way, that would have been enough force with any other thing to break it. But because this spent a lot of the energy I put down breaking it, it was impossible. I gotta say, it's kind of cool. Just maybe, what you get this from, Wish? <clears throat> what? Yeah. <laughs> so if you get this from, you can get these on a Wish, I would say probably, I mean, maybe if you were using it for just like, you know, to scare someone off, but if you're trying to actually use it, I think it's gonna break before, you know, anything else. I see half a watermelon. And you better get running, because it's broken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so, I mean, this thing is perfect for agility and quick swiping. That was the whole reason I wanted this thing. So we gotta try and do multi-targets at a fast rate. If we were like at a fight or some kind of brawl, we're gonna have to hit a lot of different places, a lot different times. So let's try that with these targets right here. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Ooh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Like the slap. Oh, dude. I did not expect to. Try, try to give you some curveballs. That Ooh. was sick. That was nice. <laughs> All right, pretty sweet. I mean, this thing's got the speed. It's just the structure, really. I mean, I think that makes it better. I think what would make it better is giving Parker all the points. <laughs> <laughs> It's just having two batons. I think two batons. Well, that's what, be, what you have right there. That would be sufficiently Thanks better. Thanks to your friend, Parker. It. You just go to your cart with the baton, just put two. <laughs> Alright, rep back. These things are awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure I smash that like button and check out this video on screen right here, which is the last epic video on this channel. I know you guys are going to love it. It's been a little minute, but next week is going to be fan mail, and we're continuing on from there, so make sure you subscribe to post notifications on because you do not want to miss them. But anyway, rep pack, I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios. Bloop.